Alright, so in this video, I'll cover how to change the mode on the FlySky G4P radio transmitter. Now this radio has four modes and the default is mode 1 and let me remove this top cover. So that you can see the controls better. So as you can see that we have trim buttons for the steering, then throttle and the dual rate for the steering. But we don't have any button or knob to change the dual rate for the throttle. And because this is a four channel radio transmitter, you have your steering on the channel one, throttle on channel two, and you also have this channel three switch which is a three-way switch and you also have a channel 4 with a momentary button so let's say if you have a servo on channel 3 or 4 and you need to trim it then you will have to change the mode on the radio transmitter and even to adjust the throttle dual rate so let's see how to switch between the modes now before we begin first thing that you have to make sure is you have fully charged AA batteries in the radio transmitter because if the battery is low and you turn on the radio transmitter the green LED will always flash and you won't be able to tell if the mode is switched or not so make sure to have fully charged batteries now here is the manual for the FlySky G4P radio transmitter and we have the instructions for the mode switching so once the radio is powered up uh, you have to double click the bind button and the green LED will flash and the number of times it flashes will denote the mode that the radio transmitter is in and you have to press the bind button quickly so so now it's in mode 3 and now it's in mode 4 the green LED only blinked once so the radio is in mode 1 now it's in mode 2 now let me explain the difference between each mode alright so in mode 1 what happens is uh, the steering trim buttons will adjust the trim for the steering which is on the channel 1 and the steering dual rate will adjust the travel of the channel 1 in this case it's also the steering so this is mode 1 and it is default so if I power on the car so with the plus and the minus button for the steering dual rate in mode 1 I can limit the servo travel so now it's at zero and as I increase it I can uh, increase the servo travel but if I want to adjust the dual rate for the throttle I'll have to switch to mode 2 so then I'll press the bind button twice and the green LED flash twice which means the radio is in mode 2 and now if I decrease the dual rate it will actually reduce the throttle percentage so the vehicle will not go forward or reverse so I have no reverse yet because the dual rate is not sufficient to kick in the reverse let me increase it slightly okay if I hold the plus button all the way eventually the green LED will stop flashing and that indicates we are at the maximum travel range or 100% so by accessing mode 2 on the radio transmitter you can limit your throttle percentage and hand over the car to a beginner or a kid if you need to 
So I'll set the throttle to 100%, which is the default and exit from mode two and switch to mode three. So I'll double press the bind button and the green LED will flash three times. So now the radio transmitter is in mode three and to demonstrate, I've connected the steering servo to channel three on the receiver. And with the help of this channel three button, I can control the steering. So then in mode three, using the steering trim and the steering dual rate button, you can adjust the settings for the third channel. So for example, if I click on the minus button for the trim, the servo is adjusted on the left hand side. And now it's centered. And to reduce the travel, I can do that from the dual rate button. So now it's at zero. So the steering won't move. And if I increase it, so this was mode three. So now I'll switch to mode four. Okay, so the LED blinked four times that indicates we are in mode four and just to demonstrate I'll connect the steering servo on channel four so that it's easier to uh, understand. All right, so I'm in mode four and if I press the channel four button I'm able to control the steering servo. So with the help of the steering trim, I can trim the channel four. And with the help of the dual red button, I can adjust the travel for channel four. So I'll switch back to mode one. and reconnect the servo on channel one. So those were the four modes that you can use in order to change the trim and the travel for individual channel. Mostly the mode two will be very useful because you can control the throttle percentage of the ESC using the dual red button. Now one good thing about these four modes is that whatever settings you apply in every mode, those settings will always be there. So for example, if I switch to mode two and if I set the dual red for the throttle to the maximum and then if I switch to mode one, The travel for channel two or the ESC in this case will be from zero to hundred percent and that setting will be intact. So it won't be reset to the default uh, like you would expect. So right now the ESC can function from zero to hundred percent. But if I decrease the dual rate from mode two, you can see the car is very slow and I've lost traverse. And now if I switch to mode one again, that setting will still be intact and, and you don't lose the access to the settings that you made earlier. So the settings that you make in individual mode is intact and it is not reset once you switch to a different mode. So that's a good thing. Now let's say if you don't want to enter the mode two, and if you want to limit the throttle percentage, there's another shortcut for this and that is called the beginner mode. And for that, all you have to do is just power off the radio transmitter 
and then hold channel 4 button and steering all the way left and power up the radio transmitter and you'll notice that the green LED is off so now basically the beginner mode is off and the EAC can operate from 0 to 100 percent and to access beginner mode switch off the radio transmitter hold channel 4 button and steer all the way left and power on the radio transmitter the green LED will flash and the radio is now in beginner mode so basically this will limit your acceleration or the throttle response as per the manual uh, in beginner mode the throttle is limited to 50 percent i don't want the beginner mode so i'll disable that power off the radio press channel 4 steer to the left and power on and the green led should be off so now we are in the normal mode and throttle is functional from 0 to 100 to set fail safe hold the bind button for a few seconds and the green led will flash and the fail safe has been set so even if i turn off the radio the channels will go back to the default if i hold the steering to the right and if i press and hold the bind button and if i turn off the radio the steering will go back to the desired position that we have set in fail safe so And that is how you set up failsafe on this radio transmitter. I hope you found this information helpful and if you did please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. That's all for this video. In the next video I will cover how to calibrate the radio transmitter. So I will meet you guys in the next video.